Greetings everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. It has been a wee while, but we are back here in our wonderful city and actually I think we, we're doing fairly well towards our next population master, Metropolis. We're only 15,000 residents away from that and that's going to allow us to build the airport and actually get planes in here and of course open up a new area. There are lots of things that we need to do. There's actually quite a lot in there that we haven't done in the achievements, there's all sorts of things. Actually, Thinking about it, I wouldn't mind placing some more landmarks. In fact, this episode is likely going to involve building up some more industrial area over here. Maybe even some more residential in this kind of area as well. Though uh, residential is not something we're going to need for a little while. So, first things first, let's actually expand this area out. I would like to purchase this. It has no um, ocean routes. It does have plane connections though. Unfortunately, it is it is a little ways off from us being able to connect up to the sea. If we want to connect up to the sea, we're going to need to go in that direction, I fancy. Yeah, we're going to need an extra one right down there. And that's going to take us a little while, uh, little while to get to. We need to build out there, so maybe this will be a new um, residential area instead. But, down here we have some options. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw out a nice big road. Uh, something like this will do. Let's go ahead and make sure all of these are turned on and also curved roads. Actually, let's do freestyle roads. So, bring it down to about there. And I want this to curve all the way around. Yeah, something quite like that. Just following the cliffs all the way down to about there. I think that'll do. Now, this will be... You know what, maybe having that turn there is not quite what we want now. So let's take this out. I would like instead this to be a single road that just... Well, let's go for a straight road, actually. Uh, let's bring that all the way out to about here. That'll be fine. And this one just can just go up straight in there and connect. There we are. So this is going to be a fairly comprehensive residential district, which is going to put a bit more strain down here so we might want to create a little bit of a, uh, a bypass over here so that uh, if anyone just wants to make the turning there straight away they can uh, by the same token perhaps we should make a little little bypass down here but if someone wants to go up there then that's going to take a little bit more time mm, you know what i'm starting to think that these should be one-way roads um hmm no, I think I'll leave them as they are for now. I think I will leave them as they are. Okay, but we clearly need plenty of industrial. Now, industrial it doesn't necessarily need to follow my rule of, of having a bit more of a, an interesting layout, but I do like it when they do. So, we're going to have a couple of interesting twists and turns where we can. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted. There we go. No, nope, not that either. There we are. Let's just bring you down to about there. We'll be fine. Can we can we get you to link up? Well, that's fine. Uh, we will have a straight road coming down from here, though. Connecting up. There we are. We can start populating this little area. I don't know if I'm going to put many uh, big um, lorries along there. I'm not sure about that. Actually, thinking about it, let's get rid of this road. I know, I know. I'm wasting money. I, I, I'm a bad at it. Let's actually give you something a little bit stronger shall we let's give you a nice big hefty road to make this uh connection up here and we'll connect you about there a very slight turn i think would do us a world of good over there and we'll have something similar branching off down here just up to about there i think and then yeah sure we'll actually have that come straight down this way we've got some like artery roads these will be the veins they, they'll take the small traffic but uh, we do want a way for for all of these trucks to get out onto this road as quickly as possible and then get out of the industrial area because you've got to think that what what are industrial areas going to want the most of and that is capacity to move their goods to and fro there we are, we'll do something along these lines and now this is where we start getting a little bit more creative if you want to, you don't have to, and honestly, it's a little bit less of a, a of a sin, in my opinion, if the industrial area is much more blocky. Because it kind of has 
a theme to it. Industrial areas feel like they should be blocky and, and, and soulless in a way. Um, still, I, I, I kind of find it hard to make them completely blocky and soulless. Uh, no one is a complete soulless. Uh, there we go. Let's get that down there. No one is completely soulless, rather, is the, is the correct form of that, uh, that statement. Mm, not so sure about this. Let's uh, make this a bit of a curved road, shall we? Something nice and easy, just gently curving in that direction. Marvellous. Uh, we'll go back to regular roads here. We'll have a... Uh, you know what, let's, let's have a curved road coming through here as well. I've really gone off using the regular curved road tool. <laughs> I really have, and I don't know when that happened, but I'm not even sad. There we go. I'll leave that open. But for now, that should be good enough to give us a bit of... Uh, a bit of industrial clout. We could go for offices if I strictly wanted to, but I'd actually like to get something a little bit more in uh, actual in industry going on, uh, rather than, than going just straight for offices. Maybe we'll have offices down here, though. That is definitely a potential. Uh, let's bring this down all the way. Just follow this road. We don't need to worry about the other just yet. This is good enough for us for now. To get a little bit of something on the go. Sure, we'll actually connect it up down there. There we are. Perfect. All right, let's unpause the simulation and see how things go. Uh, there we are. That should all hook up in a... Well, actually, no, that is hooked up. It's just that it has nowhere to go. So it's just letting me know that. So, in terms of our industrial area here, you know what? Let me just make this into a, a little district so that we can control what kind of industry. Let's have a have a look here, shall we? In terms of industrial, we have office specializations, residential specializations, industrial specializations. Is there anything here? Generic industry removes the specialization. Oh, I've unfortunately messed that up a, a tad. Let me just ah drag down and blast. There we go. Let's uh, get that one done. Uh, what kind of in, um, materials are here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So this really should be generic industry. We could do that. We we definitely could. Yeah, all right then. We'll we'll have that one be generic industry then. Uh, fair enough. Let's go ahead and start laying this down. Uh, I'm just going to honestly, yeah, just get all of it done. Uh, actually, putting it down here first, not the best idea. Let's start up here. Start small and just build up over time. There we go. And actually. We're going to want a decent bit of speed. Now, we are going to want a rail connection down here. That is going to be necessary. How are we going to do that? Let's go ahead and get railways. We want a cargo train terminal. Uh, yeah, something like this would be actually quite nice. We could just pop it in there. Or we could have it just branch off a little bit. I think that would probably be a wise move. Just so that we're not clogging up this road quite as badly. So, if we have something around here, sure, alright. Let's go from there all the way down to here. And then, uh, drag down and blast. We can't quite make that connection. We could make it if we go for a regular curve. Womp. Perfect. And then down here, much the same. So we want to bring this all the way over to that point. And then a wee curve just in there. Oh, no. Apparently, that's a little bit too close to the bone. Fair enough. Let's go from this direction then, shall we? Out there. And apparently, it'll work there. So, yeah, sure. Now, do I want to make this one way? I could do. That would uh, increase the flow of traffic a little bit, I fancy. Yeah, that'll do. All the way down. So trucks come in, trucks go out. Yes, I approve enormously. Let's get the uh, the train cargo uh, terminal set up. Well, we can put it down here. In fact, we could maybe even get two of them if we really wanted to. Is there much point? We'll leave it open so that we can, in the future, should there be a need. I am going to want to hook you up specifically, though. Uh, do you require water? I don't think you do. You might, though. No, it doesn't seem so at the moment. Okay. Uh, right. So, train's coming from this side. If we go over this way, I mean, this is the direction that our train connection should occur at. So, that's fine. Now we want a nice 
absolute oh no that is absolutely not what we're ah train why why must you be so funky i really do just want to connect up there can i bring this out no it it just wants to come off at a crazy right angle and i have no idea why why do my trains want to be so weird okay fine we'll branch off like this then and then up or at least something like that there we go that'll have to do there we are we've got our connection oh he's too need water after all oh drag uh it's not too difficult for me to set up though to be fair and i'm gonna have to come down that direction anyway in time but there we go that's gonna make things a little bit easier for our industry to export which will be very very much appreciated and now that this is starting to build up let's uh continue to build it. I am going to allow it to build off the inside of this road. I'm just not going to build it up from the outside of it. I think that should be fine. And we'll get all of that done down there. This should give us plenty of jobs for our citizens. Now, question. How are we doing for fire protection? Not very well, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. Well, we could get a full-on fire station if we want. Um, expensive. Very expensive. We've got enough money to easily cover it, mind you, but uh, very expensive. If we put it down here, I'd rather have it branch off somewhere like this and get everywhere. So, sure, we're going to have a branch down here so it can go around the roundabout. And we'll have it just about there, I think. Just branching out down here, we'll have some, some uh, utilities there. We'll bring this across. We're also going to need to bring over some water, unfortunately, but it's worth it, I feel. There we go. And with that, we're going to go for a, an actual fire station. We're going to go for a regular sort of fire station this time. Uh, it doesn't quite reach everywhere I want it to get to, but mm, it's good enough, I think. There we go. Pop you down, and hopefully that's going to make some impact on the safety. I mean, eh, it's eh, impacted this safety, but hasn't strictly made that any safer. Um, still, they'll they'll be available to respond to uh, problems quickly enough. Though, on that note, do we actually have any... Ooh, we are actually getting a little bit low on garbage processing. Alright, a recycling center then. Let's pop that one there as well. That should help out a great deal. Perfect. How are we doing on water? Hmm doing all right not great hmm. you know what we could have very very clean water processing down here the best water treatment plant there is the eco water treatment plant needs to be connected with pipes to your city's water system it purifies the sewage making it very clean and ready to be led back into body water okay well we're gonna have one of those then we'll just pop it down here uh, i think that'll be fine so about there i'm thinking maybe even two of them We'll see. I don't think we strictly need both. We'll we'll have a watch of that. Let's connect you up. There we go. That should give us a good bump in sewage treatment as soon as that comes online. Yeah, there we are. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, we've already got the industry over here. There's still a little bit of demand for it. So we're going to go ahead and pop down a bit more, but just not too much at this point. We'll do something like that. There's not enough people around though so how about we have a look at this area and see if we can put in any kind of policies city planning industrial space planning allow industry to work even more efficiently by overlooking a few work safety laws no uh, do we have any like high-tech industry services new uh, prefer ferries education blimps psychoplastic mm. we could Drop the taxes for... Have we got any industrial tax relief that we can do to encourage certain types of industry? No, it doesn't look like we do. That's a bit of a, a shame, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Alright, well, we're just going to have to leave that as is then. But we've got these places going up at the very least. Now then, we do have a, an increasing demand for commercial. But before we get to that, how about we just have a look at... Um, tourism, leisure, landmarks. Well, I've got a cinema. Costs a fair old bit. See all the latest blockbusters and hot indie movies on the silver screen. Department store. 
I think we could do with this, though. How about we get a cinema right down here? I actually like the idea of that. We could even pop it... Uh, it's got a lot of noise pollution, which is not strictly what we want. But at the same time... We could put it in the, the main sort of industrial area if we really wanted to. It'll hit a couple of places, but... It's a tricky one. I could put it down here, however. Out on this road, because we could develop this little area a little bit more. Or, alternatively, I could just have it down somewhere like this. It's going to affect a lot of residences. It'll hit a couple with the noise pollution here, but it's going to make this area a pretty nice little tourist place. Yeah, I think we're going to go for it. There we go. Unique building in place. It's going to cause a bit of sound pollution, and people are not going to like it. But yeah, they're living in a city now. They, they, there's no getting away from noise pollution. Uh, right. What I wouldn't mind, though, tourism and leisure. And see if we've got any uh, new ferry buildings, perhaps? Where would they be? I think they would actually be down here. There we go. Yeah, a fishing pier wouldn't be a bad one. I think we can get a couple of these down, make this place a, a little bit of a nicer area. Um, sure, if we have uh, a couple of these just dotted behind the opera house. So, we'll have a jet ski rental somewhere down there as well. And a marina somewhere along here. And a restaurant pier. Sure, we'll, we'll just dot a couple of these things just along this little area here. Now then, I'm going to need to hook you all up to electricity, naturally. So we'll pop that one down there. Just get a, a pylon connecting you up. Likewise, over here, I'll actually have the pylon right next to it, I think. Right, now, we're going to need a road access. Therein lies the problem. Uh, let's go for something a little bit more low um, capacity, though. Uh, all right, I'm going to want this road... Pretty much a free, free form road, just curving up and along, something like that. There we go. Oops, that is not quite where I wanted it to be. Something. No, uh, distance too short apparently. Okay, well we'll get that fixed in just a moment then. Uh, let's get some water coming down here. I should have put that in a much better position. In retrospect, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my finest moment. Uh, down here as well. There we go. Right, let's allow some time to pass. Now we should have a little road rushing up here. Let's branch this off and take you. Um, sure, we're going to take you up here. Like so. And around behind, if we can manage it. See, we're going to go through that pylon, aren't we? Yeah, we are. That's a bit of a shame. Let's uh, fix that then. Let's connect this pylon up again. So about there. That right, should connect it, I'm hoping. There we go. And we'll get a regular... Well, we'll get a tree-lined street. Just coming straight down here to connect up. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we'll get a couple more roads just just nearing this area. We need to connect it after all. So hmm. yeah, sure. Let's go for a, a regular road like that. There we are. That's perfect. I'm liking the sounds that I'm hearing around this area now. Let's get you down here, and then just a sweep up right around there. That's that's actually perfect. And we can head up over these. Cliffs, I think, without too much worry. There we go. And once again, we'll have a little connection up around here. We might even create a little little park area there. I think that would actually be quite nice. Uh, we'll just have a road sweeping down like so. Perfect. We might even have a yeah. I think a little park there would be quite grand. But let's have a quick look at how the ledger facilities are now available to our people. That looks lovely now. That looks really nice, actually. How's that affected land value? Eh. The land value increases a little bit far away. Oh, wow. My lord. 
So much crime. My goodness. Really? The police are just over there. Uh, all right. I guess we'll need another police station. That's a pain, though. All right, pop that there. I'll have it a bit of an effect and will hopefully reduce the crime here. But they, they've actually got to travel a long way to get up there. Um, maybe I should have this go through. No, for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. And hopefully the police will get there in time. Right, okay, so that's uh, given us a little bit more of a peer down here, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Though there's a lot of criminality going on over here. I think we might need another police station. Drat, damn, and blast. Uh, Alright then. I'll pop the police station over on the outside so they can easily get around. There we are. That should help. Okay, how are we doing on this? We're probably not doing too well because we haven't really increased our um, residential at all for the most part. We could build up a bit of residential in this little area here. That might not be a bad idea. They'd have reasonable access to a heavier road. So this, this is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Look at all the, all the vehicles trying to get in here. Mm. Not sure, actually, on that one. I think we're going to need a, a brand new residential area. And I think, yeah, all right then. It's, it's high time we did something about Sylvan Heights. Sylvan Heights don't actually need. But I'm going to leave it there for the time being, I think. What we're going to do instead is we're going to have a residential area build up around here. So let's just cut Sylvan Heights off with a nice green barrier here, considering Sylvan Heights is a, uh, a agricultural area, having a green barrier seems fitting in my opinion. Uh, we'll take this all the way up and out across there, there we are. That actually is a little bit too harsh of a curve now, let's just fix that. Something like that. No, no, that's gonna look way, way wrong. Let's start again. Let's get all of that gone. Bit of a curve coming out like so. Just set to very gently turn into a, a stronger curve. There we are. That's a bit better. Right. So this is gonna be a new residential area now. As with all of my residential areas at this point, we're going to try and keep the commercial along the main road here, but we're going to be branching out in both directions. Um, so, somewhere along here, I'm going to want this to just come on down and curve around. There we go. And then this will follow the uh, the cliffs. Uh, well, actually, well, yeah, they're sort of cliffs. They're, they're a little bit higher than I would say. Uh, it's just a just a bank. But they're not, they're not, they're not full cliffs. Not really. Right, now in this area, this is going to be the more, um, I'm going to say this is the, the more wealthy high-rise area. So let's use nice trees to connect all of this up, or, or just grassy areas. We'll have one tree-lined area just swooping down. Something like that, I think. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll start just building off these areas as and where we want to i'll use sure we'll have something like this just building up for now we'll just bring this out a little ways in both directions we'll have a small cul-de-sac down here naturally let's get you in place once again i really do need to uh make this an asset that i can just easily cut and placed so I, because I do use this little design quite often, thinking about it. Uh, we'll have... No, that, that's fine right there. We do want enough room for some sort of recreation, I'm thinking. Bring that across there, that looks good. Uh, we'll have another tree-lined street actually coming most of the way down, I would say. And then branching across in... Uh, this one will be a curve. Branch all the way out to there then up something like that will be quite nice and we'll get a couple 
of small these are not going to be um high rises thinking about it they they're going to focus much more on just regular um housing i'm thinking we're not going to have any terraces in this part. Oh, I know me not having terraces. What is the world coming to? But I think we'll uh, eschew terraces for now in favor of just having something like this. And we want a little bit of something. Just, just peeking out right about there, I think, would be good. There we are. That'll look lovely, I think. Right, so that's going to be our expensive uh, high land value area. Now, how are we going to make a high land value? We're probably going to have to delete, delete some of the roads to put in parts. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, right, first things first, though, we are going to need water. And a decent amount of it. There we are. Let's bring all that up. I'm going to have to check on my power consumption in just a moment, though, because uh, it has been a fair chunk of upgrading without necessarily any uh, upgrades to my capacity. How are we doing for power? Not too bad, actually. I can always pop down some power-producing produ uh, buildings out here. In fact, let's just go and have a look. What do we have? We've got Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion Plant. The changes in water temperature allow this power plant to generate electricity. Place the plant on the shoreline. It costs a whop! Being amount of, of uh, money to keep that running though. How much does it produce? 480 megawatts versus 20 megawatts. Mm, but it only requires 200. Um, I think we'll just drop down. Well, we won't drop down any right now. We, we don't need that energy just for the second. But we will do. We will. Right. As far as commercial, I would like a decent chunk of commercial along here. We're going to need to bring energy down there, though. So let's grab you. I'm just going to have you following the road all the way along. Should be fine. That'll do. There we are. Now then, we will have high-rise commercial on the inside. All the way along. There we are. And then... Low density commercial on the outside, I think. That'll look nice. There we go. Now, this little area is going to be a low density residential. Uh, not on the inside, though. That will be. Uh, let's decorate it right now, actually. Let's go ahead and make something nice in there. We'll go with this. Sure. And just a couple of them just dotted around. Like so, and then we'll just fill it out a little bit. This one will be a little bit more random. A little bit more haphazard, I think. Uh, it'll, it'll have a nice look to it as a result. This is, this is more of a... It's ordered chaos. Uh, there we are. Uh, once these are built up, that'll, that'll actually pass along the power, so that won't be too much of an issue there. Or at least I'm certainly hoping it will. Oh, just out of reach. How frustrating is that? Hmm. Uh, do we have... Well, I'm just going to have to wait on that. Uh, well, maybe I won't. There we go. That, that is a little bit of a pain. In fact, let me just go ahead. Delete this. Go ahead. No, oh, delete it. There we go. And you too. Go, go away. Oh, damn it. Where are you? There we go. I would like this to just come straight down like that. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. All right, so we've got a bit more commercial going on. But at this point, we want a little bit more um, industrial. So, let's head on down here and continue flashing this area out then. Got plenty of room now for industrial to be added. So, let's make that room count for something. And again, just along here, just nestled around the police station. We'll be fine. Now, how much of the uh, traffic is heading out? It's actually a reasonable amount is heading out. Are they going down to the commercial areas? Hmm. All right, that's interesting. This may be improved if we actually made these one-way roads. Uh, let's have a look at that then, shall we? Let's let's make these one way. Upgrade that. Okay, then this is one way down here. No, we want it to be the other way. I want the the traffic to be able to get off on that side. There we are. It should give us a little bit more. 
There we go. At this point, we can make the bypass as well. Uh, let's actually see. We'll, we'll use a highway ramp just somewhere around here. Just to connect up onto that side. So, about there we'll do, sure. And we'll go straight down towards this place around there. But, hmm, I really would like it to be a much gentler curve. Something like that. And then, uh, can we get this to turn in? It's going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's fine. We should be able to get this to work. Given enough practice. I could uh, actually use, thinking about it, if I use the curve tool, I'm going to get a much neater job of it. Oop, that is not what I want to do. There we go. And we want to leave one space. About there, and then connect up. There we go. So you can just turn off in that direction if you want to. That'll uh, save a little bit of time. So the only things entering from this side are the ones that want to get over there, which makes sense. And likewise from this side, if anyone just wants to leave, we'll give you a little turn off as well. There we go. Something like that. I'll uh, bring it forward a little. Oh, that's a little bit too short, apparently. Uh, about there. Then just neatly go up around this area, if you could, please. That'll do. And then you can turn in. There we go. It's a bit of a long one there. It's fine, though. Gives the, gives the place character, damn it. There we go. That looks a little bit better now. All right. So, with that all happening, that should improve things a wee bit. We still actually need more industry. I'm starting to worry a little bit, actually. Look at all these abandoned buildings. Oh, my Lord. I'm starting to strongly feel that we need to get rid of all of this. We could even turn this into offices. Actually, yes. Yes, I'm going to say I want that. So, sorry, but no, no. All these jobs, they're going. Restructuring. You understand how it is. The city needs it. The city breathes. The city demands. There we go. Let's just get all of these out of the way. I may give it a little bit of time for any ground pollution to uh, dissipate before I go ahead and build this all up for... Offices, I am, however, going to have to sort out the roads from the quaint little farm roads that we've got to something a little bit more more uh, office-y. But given that this is going to be sandwiched between two residential areas, that actually makes a lot of sense. You Offices don't require any kind of delivery, unlike commercial. And in fact, and like, oh dear, what have I just done? Ah, ha, huh, yeah, that was a bit of a silly of me. Let's get that connected up over there. Let's hopefully see that connecting. No? Yes? No? Yes? No? Poop. Alright. Let's do it like this then. Get rid of you. Don't worry, people. It was just, just a momentary lapse in judgment. There we are. Power is back. Hooray! Oh, I feel so bad for my, my citizens. Having a male like me, this is awful. But, with that out of the way, we basically just need redonkulous amounts of industry now. Uh, that's not a terrible place to be, though. So, we want to upgrade all of these. We don't need this here anymore. That is purely surplus demand, so uh, that's actually going to go. Yep, goodbye. And, of course, now we need to hook that up properly. There we are. There you go. See, I didn't forget this time. Now, that was an expensive bridge as well. Oh my lord. Oh well. At least it, we're not having to delete too much rail track because it did come all the way down here and that does still serve a purpose. But there we are. That What? That's definitely still power there, you liar. Right, we want these to all be. Um, let's go for tree lined roads, actually. Sure. Uh, we'll keep the structure that we've currently got. It seems reasonable. 
But let's get some uh, some nice offices. We're going to try and spruce it up with tree-lined roads. Uh, can I? Oh, bus. Uh, of course, yes. We've already got a, uh, a bus route in here. There we are. I will be honest. When we start a new series of this, there's so many things I'm going to do differently. Namely, install mods. But, other than that, there's a... I've learned a lot just from this one series on how to lay out my um, my zones. As I was mentioning, industry doesn't, uh, sorry, uh, offices don't require any kind of delivery, but lots of other things do. And, and the way, just the simple way that things interact will be something I'm going to be able to uh, build out a little bit better in the future. Now, as for this area, I would like very much for this not to have any kind of uh, industrial zoning. So, can I turn that off? There we go. Nice. Uh, well, that's reasonable, I suppose. Uh, offices. No office specialization. An IT cluster. No, we'll go with no office specialization. That's fine. And with that, let's start plopping down a couple of offices. Hither and yon. Um, you're gonna have, you're gonna embrace the the roots of this area, the history of Sylvan Heights. I'm not even gonna change the name. You're going to maintain the the quaint, the little rustic feel that it has here and there. I think this is gonna be lovely. There we go. Let's get a couple more down as well. Uh, around there, we're not. Go we're gonna try not to connect up to the main road. I think. Uh, a couple of places have, but that's fine for now. Uh, get these in, sure. And we'll just build this out towards the back. There we are. There we go. We'll get some uh, some industrial demand met. Though our population has sunk. Oh, that's nasty to see. Very nasty to see. And it's, it's largely because we just suddenly took away loads of jobs. Uh, everything is connected. Cause and effect. But I think this is going to be a, a little bit more of a sustainable setup for us. Certainly towards getting towards Megalopolis. And that's where this series will end. I'm going to take the city all the way to Megalopolis. And then we're going to wrap up uh, city, or this series of City Skylands. And then possibly even begin planning the next. Which will be significantly better. I hope. I certainly hope. Uh, we will actually build all of this out. We are going to need it reasonably soon. There we go. Now then, oh my good lord. Wow. Wow. Well. That is a problem. So many abandoned buildings. Let's actually have a look. Well, while, while we've got the opportunity, let's have a look at these. What do they look like when they're abandoned? Uh, oh, I see. They don't look that bad, actually. They managed to retain quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of their beauty, even in an abandoned state. I don't know. It's, it's kind of concrete jungle kind of thing. Only actual jungle on concrete. Oh my lord! The amount of abandoned buildings, though. Mm, we're gonna need to fix this, aren't we? Uh, let's have a quick look. What is my healthcare at? Why have we got so many dead bodies all over the place? That is the first thing I'd like to check. Crematorium capacity is massively decreased. I'm going to need to add one over here then. Let's get death care set up. A crematorium right about there should be able to help out. There we are. Well, in a very limited capacity, but still. Oh my lord. To think that all happened because of Sylvan Heights, I, I feel. I could be completely wrong about that, but uh, deleting Sylvan Heights, that was that was a big change to the city in a very nasty way. But that's going to be uh, a lot of work for us to fix. But the, yeah, look at all the dead people. Dead person is waiting in transport. Ah, how has this gone so bad? No more room. But we've got loads of crematoriums. There are absolutely tons of crematoriums. I don't understand. And stop emptying out that graveyard. I, I genuinely don't understand that one. We've got absolutely loads of them. We are emptying that, but uh, maybe it'll improve itself over time. Now, these buildings are going to naturally 
renovate, and they are going to have an impact on the uh, on the land value until they naturally renovate. But I'm disinclined to chop them down myself. I'm just going to wait for the city to fix itself. Uh, for me, any game like SimCity or City Skylines is at least half simulation and half me actually doing things. I like just being able to let the city run and see if it can correct itself. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to let this probably run for a couple of minutes off camera and we'll return to hopefully a city that is once again profitable and full of people instead of full of death and suffering and sadness. Mm. Leaving this episode off on a, a bit of a, a, a hopeless look at the city, but it's fine. It's like a forest fire. The fire needs to sweep through so that new trees can grow. It's, it's a cyclic. It's a, it's a necessary part of nature. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, though, and I'm looking forward to coming back to a city that isn't actually all decay and ruin as much as I am looking forward to the city not being decay and ruin alongside you. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, do take care, everyone. And uh, yeah, keep your fingers crossed because things are not looking great. <laughs>